Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. We are shooting episode 301 today and we are going to try to draw lessons from the ARK ETF. This is an ETF in the, in the uh, American markets. It was extremely popular uh, in the last couple of years as the manager was very, very bullish about the changing uh, uh, you know, dynamics of technology stocks and healthcare stocks and she believed that we are at a pivotal point in the world where these sectors will outperform like crazy over the next decade and that's what the bet was. Let's see today what has happened to that bet and what lessons we can draw from it. But one very important alert uh, I want to share with you. There are at least half a dozen uh, telegram channels that I have identified uh, which are fake telegram channels in my name or weekend investing name uh, and trying to possibly you know exhort money or trying to peddle some sort of strategy to you to whoever is there and I was very surprised that you know there are 1859 subscribers on one 701 on this one 408 here 729 there so thousands of people are being uh, you know, scammed and this is not something that makes me comfortable because I mean so many people getting scammed in my name is very very dis uh, disconcerning uh, and concerning uh, and, and gives me a lot of discomfort. So uh, if in case you do come across any of these channels, uh, do report them. I have reported from my side. Uh, please be very very cautious. We will not ask you for any transfer of money from your bank accounts uh, to our accounts directly either they will go through the small case uh, platform or they will go through the Riggy platform uh, for universal and stairs there will be no direct bank to bank transfers uh, there are uh, three uh, official channels that we have one is the weekend investing channel where we uh, share all the uh, news and development about small cases then there is one free stairs channel where you you get weekly reports on the stairs trends and then there is a stairs uh, signal channel where you get the stairs signal so these are the only three channels that we run officially and all these half a dozen or more channels are all fake so please uh, be cautious about this as we were discussing yesterday also and has and have been our uh, uh, sort of subject of discussion that PSU banks have really really shown good relative strength and the results that are coming out are also supportive of that uh, you know relative strength in the market and today you just see 2.5 percent up on PSU banks where all the other sectors practically were you know within plus or minus half a percent and IT of course following the 3% cut on NASDAQ yesterday uh, has fallen 1.2%. So last night the Fed has raised 75 basis points again. There was widely uh, wide expectation that they would raise 75 basis points so that is not a surprise. The surprise was in the commentary where they said that they will keep raising even if, even if at a slower pace until they see perceptible drop in the inflation and they are not going to stop till they see that. So inflation has been extremely, extremely stubborn, not coming down despite these, you know, almost 400 uh, basis point rise in interest rates. And who knows where we will go and end on this. And by the time we will end this raising, because inflation always has a lag. So, you know, the last interest rate hike and the inflation dropping off may have, let's say, a lag of three to six months. So they may hike so much and not see that impact coming that three months later or six months later we will go into a very deep depression or a recession and then they will have to try to stimulate the economy back up. So it's in a we are stuck in a bad loop actually and although India is still holding very nicely near uh, its all time highs but these kind of uh, headwinds from the global markets are definitely not going to benefit us in any way but nevertheless. Uh, that's uh, that's what has happened last night and very uh, surprisingly PSU banks have brushed it off and moved ahead on this. You can see that the indices have not moved anywhere. Nifty was down 0.17% for the day. 
and the maximum gain were in small cap and mid caps at 0.15%. So very, very dull, uh, you know, nothing sort of a day. And again, within weekend investing strategies also, uh, MI20 standing out at plus 1.17. Otherwise, it was mostly between plus minus half a percent or 0.6 percent type of a day for all these strategies. Heat map for the day, you can see State Bank of India shining bright at plus 1.93 percent. Uh, tech stocks down, Wipro, Infosys, TCS, Tech Mahindra all down badly. HDFC and Kotak Bank also mildly down. Mahindra, Mahindra, Tata Motors, Aishar Motors, Sun Pharma, NTPC, Power Grid, Tata Motors, Hindalco all down. JSW Steel, Grasim, Ultrasemco also down. Titan uh, nicely up. Bharti, Airtel, Hindustan, Levers, uh, and, and, and HDFC Life mildly up, Bajaj Finserve also mildly up. So mixed bag, but uh, State Bank of India stood out uh, for the day. Top gainers, Mahindra Mahindra Financial up 13%, Indigo Paints up 12%, Rights up 9%, Alembic Pharma 7% and Raymond's very good results plus 7%, about to I think make new highs. Uh, Tejas Network down 4%, Relaxo Footwear down 4.5%, dismal result. So there is talk about this K-shaped economy where the wealthy have really gained uh, traction and the and the and the uh, poor economic uh, economically poor classes have really lost growth so products that are more geared towards the larger masses have not seen that kind of growth whereas exclusive products or high margin products have have seen the kind of growth avas financier also down 4.74% tci express down 4.8% and voltas down 5.8% so this is the saga of uh, ARK ETF. Uh, today there was a tweet that ARK's biggest holding is Roku and it's still losing money and I, I had posted this chart of Zoom uh, video. We are all very familiar with Zoom video, we all use it on a daily basis. So this whole thing that you know we are using a product or we are using a service, we like it, yet the stock performance is you know, Neil Bhatta Sanata, you can say. Uh, it's gone from 600 to 75 dollars. So, I mean, what is left here? I mean, it's almost down 85, 90 percent. Uh, so, so there was a boom and there was a bust. You needed to get out at some point, otherwise your portfolio goes bust. So, this is the journey of the ARK Innovation ETF fund run by Kathy Woods, very popular uh, fund manager in the US. Uh, she popularized this uh, this concept that you know technology and healthcare uh, stocks uh, uh, will lead the way, uh, and and uh, there was a lot of following that came through for Ark Investing, especially in in COVID or post COVID times, and you can see that this Ark Innovation ETF went from 36 to 160, 170, and now it's back at 36. So within two and a half years, uh, uh, the price has gone uh, five folds and have dropped 77%. Uh, so it's a kind of a crazy sort of a move. And that's the sort of lesson we need to draw here that yes, even if we, if we ride some crazy move, at what point do we get out and how do we get out? And since the peak, you can see that while S&P is down four and a half percent, NASDAQ is down 21% uh, since February 21, but ARK is down 76.7%. So crazy uh, outperformance, but crazy underperformance on the downside. This is the total AUM, uh, the assets under management. And you can see from one, two billion dollars early in early 2020, it went to almost 28 billion dollars. So on the way up, even though it went up four or five times, the AUM increased by almost 30 times because a lot of money was coming in, pumping into it, into this and people were getting, you know, uh, blindsided and blindly buying it. But on the way down, see what has happened from 28 billion dollars, it is down to 7.6, so about one fourth. And the, uh, the fall is also 75%. So essentially people have not gotten out. See, this is very clear indication that the AUM that existed at the top and the valuation has come down by 75% and that's where the AUM stands. So people have not gotten out of this uh, 
this uh, this strategy this etf because once the a, a a strategy starts to lose money people tend to become like deers in headlights and they stay stuck there they never exit this is a real life example i'm showing you where you know 20 billion dollars have been lost and and virtually nobody is getting out of it these are the top holdings uh, in this uh, particular etf zoom video and uh, this this information is off the net so if there is a little off here or there you know please don't uh, come uh, trolling me for that uh, zoom video is 9% tesla is 9% roku 6.8% and many stocks which you know some of us may may have never heard of but just look at these stocks and i'll quickly go through these you know zoom is down 86% from its peak tesla is down 48% from its peak uh, roku is down 88% from its peak exact sciences down 80% intel intelia therapeutics down 70% block incorporation 80% teladoc health it 92% twilio 85% down is for therapeutics 72% down ui path inc 87% down so your top holding top 10 holdings are down 70 80 90% i mean you can't be holding on to you know such kind of losers this is a clear cut recipe for disaster i mean just keep hoping for a revival without a plan i mean is catastrophic and 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 it has been proven now in the market how 28 billion dollars have been reduced to 7 billion dollars and you know on top of this loss we are not even looking at you know the opportunity cost that is being lost here even if you know this turns around and you know that 28 billion gets redeemed uh, at par after 5 years you've lost 7 years of capital uh, opportunity so you know from 28 going to 7 and coming back to 28 after 5 years will uh, and 2 years already gone i mean that's 7 years of opportunity lost so lack of exit plan is suicidal and i keep you know <coughs> excuse me and i keep uh, you know uh, bringing on these ideas almost on a daily basis and some of you may say you know uh, i mean he keeps repeating the same lesson the uh, same learning but i can tell you some day if you are not following all this some day you will learn this lesson and it will help you it took me a long time to learn these lessons i hope it will not take you so much time to do this so riding winners is the only way you will uh, you know you know you, you will win this game uh, holding losers till 80 90% drops is not going to make you win this game you can do whatever strategy you like it will not work you have to dump losers early and try to find other stocks yes in a portfolio of 8 10 12 20 stocks one stock goes to 80% down that can still be tolerated but just look at the uh, number of stocks going down 70 80% here this is our disclaimer page new disclaimer page here so thank you so much for your time and <coughs> excuse me this delhi air is so toxic i'm sitting with the air purifier the entire day and still you know it is just uh, getting into my lungs uh, so thank you mr kejriwal thank you for your time and uh, and i hope that you will share this uh, uh, this daily bite with all your friends and family and make them aware that sitting on losing stocks is not the way to make money in the markets please devise a strategy where you get rid of your losing stocks at some point have some strategy have a plan have an exit plan that's the only way to win thank you bye